This is part two of the distributive property of multiplication over addition. So this is the property, a times b plus c equals ab plus ac, but it actually works over subtraction as well. So if instead of a plus sign, you had a minus sign, it would be ab minus ac. So we're going to do some problems with subtraction signs as well. And also working where, with some problems where in front of the parentheses there might be a minus sign. Okay, so let's look at, exa at this example. 2 times 3x minus 5. Since it's a minus sign, the only difference is when I do the distributive property, I have 2 times 3x minus 2 times 5. Again, this middle step, it's up to you whether you need to write that out or not. You probably can go directly to 6x minus 10 if you've already done enough problems with addition. Okay, so how about trying this one? three times 4m minus 7. Okay, hopefully you got 3 times 4m minus 3 times 7. It might even help you to say it like that. 3 times 4m minus 3 times 7. Hmm, I like that. Um, you could have done it over here too. 2 times 3x minus 2 times 5. And in general, see, you could say, a times B plus A times C. See how that works? A times B plus A times C. Make a little cadence out of it and you've got it. All right, so let's go ahead and work with some problems where we've got a minus sign in front of the parentheses. A little, a little bit different angle. How about if we had a minus, just a minus sign and nothing else? 3x minus 8. This can be thought of as the opposite of 3x minus 8. Okay, to remove parentheses, okay, so to remove parentheses, change signs of all inside. Alright, so I had a, just a positive 3x, I'm going to make that a negative 3x, I had a minus 8, I'm changing that to a plus 8. And that's all there is to it if it's just a minus sign in front of there. Now what if you wanted to think about it a little bit differently? This minus sign in front, you could think of it as the opposite of 3x minus 8, or you could think of it as negative 1 times 3x minus 8. Actually taking the opposite of anything, is the same thing as multiplying it by a negative 1. You'll get the same answer. All right, so how would we deal with a minus sign in front of something? Well, I could still do my distributive property. So I would have negative 1 times 3x minus, right, there's that minus sign, but then I have a negative 1 times 8. So negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. So there's my negative 3x. And check this out. I'm going to have minus a negative 8. What's that going to end up being? Plus 8. So you get the same answer. Think of it as negative 1. But people do have a lot of trouble here. They end up writing minus 8 instead of plus 8. So you got to be careful. There's a minus sign here on the outside and a minus sign on the inside. That's going to end up. When all is said and done with a plus sign there, that sign will change. So let's do a couple more like that. How about negative 2 times x plus 4? When you distribute, you've got negative 2 times x, so that's negative 2x, and here you've got to be careful, plus negative 2 times 4. All right, so what's going to happen? Plus a negative 8. What's a better way of writing plus a negative 8? Minus 8. So watch. When you had a negative sign on the outside, outside of the parentheses, 
the terms inside, whatever signs there were at the beginning, will be opposites. See how the x had a positive sign, it's now negative. The second term had a positive sign, it's now negative. So you can first write it as negative 2 times x plus negative 2 times 4, and then write that as negative 2x plus negative 8. But you don't leave an answer as plus a negative 8. This is how you want to write it. That's the simplified way. All right, let's do another one. Negative 5 times 3x minus 7. Try this on your own. We'll see how you do. These are the trickiest ones of all with these minus signs. That always gets people. They're not careful. So I've got negative 5 times 3x. All right, so what happens when I do a negative 5 times 3? What's that going to give me? Negative 15. You still have the x. Now what's going to happen here? I've got a negative 5 and I've got a negative 7. It's really like multiplying negative 5 times negative 7, which will be plus, right, 35. And that's where we want to get to, where we don't have to write all of the middle steps down. Although, if you want, you could write everything down. Negative 5 times 3x minus 5 times 7. Let's see, minus negative 5 times 7. It's even so, it's so confusing writing all that extra steps minus a negative 5 times 7. And then you would have a negative 15x minus a negative 35, which is finally negative 15x plus 35. Okay, let's do a couple more. How about negative and then just 2x plus 11 about negative 3 times 4x plus 8, negative 9 times 3x minus 1, and negative 2 times x minus 13. All right, try these four problems by putting this on pause, working them on your, uh, working them on your own, and then coming back. Okay, are you back? All right, so let's do it. We're going to have the opposite of 2x plus 11 or negative 1 times 2x plus 11. Basically, you could just change all the signs inside and you're done. So, it's the first one. Second one, negative 3 times 4x will be negative 12x. Now, what's going to happen here? I've got a negative and a positive multiplied together. That'll end up being a minus 24 since that's 3 times 8. Next one, negative 9 times 3x will be a negative 27x. And what do I have here? I got a negative 9 times a negative 1, that'll be a plus 9. And the last one, negative 2 times x will be a negative 2x. And what do I have here? I've got a negative and another negative on the inside. When I multiply, that'll be a plus 26. Practice these a lot. These are the ones that are very confusing for people. All right, we're just going to go on to, what if we just step this up slightly and we do more than one thing at the same time? So how about if I had 2 times 3x plus 4 plus 5 times x plus 6, for instance. And I'm just going to do the distributive property, starting out with no negative signs at all. Well, order of operations, again, look on the inside. You can't simplify it, so I need to do the distributive property for each of these. So I will have 2 times 3x is 6x, plus 2 times 4 is 8, and now on to the next one, plus 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times 6 is 30. The last thing would be to combine the like terms. So notice these are both have the same variable part. So 6x plus 5x, this is something that you probably wouldn't write down, but I'm showing you how you can just put all this addition in a different order to see what I'm adding together. So I've got 11x plus 38. And these are all equal. One last one. Let's do some with some minus signs. How about if you have 
5 times 2x minus 3, it's going to be tricky, minus 3 times x minus 8. Okay, that's about the toughest of all. First one's not so bad. We have 10x minus 15 doing the distributive property, but here's the tricky part. You have to think of this as negative 3 times x, which will be a negative 3x, and negative 3 times negative 8 is plus 24, and now you're going to combine your like terms. The 10x minus 3x will give you 7x, and negative 15 added to 24, I think that's going to be 9, right? Plus 9. And voila, that's part two. Practice, practice, practice. I hope you learned something. Remember, math.